Hey, welcome to a new video. Do you ever dream of having superpowers? The idea of being invisible or becoming super strong? Well, I have good news for you. Superpowers exist not only in movies and comic books, but also in real life. Are you new to this channel? Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And before we start, also like the video. Number 20. Bill Trusoff is a man who needs no introduction in the world of boxing. He's primarily known for his incredible Guinness World Record for throwing the most punches in one minute. You could say he's a very fast fighter. Havel's official count for the most punches in one minute was an astonishing 322 punches. That's an average of over five punches per second. But what's impressive is not just his record, but also the technique and precision with which he throws each punch. He utilizes his entire body weight with every strike. It's also important to note that Havel's achievement goes beyond real physical strength. To accomplish what he has, he had to train tirelessly and push himself to the limits, much like Batman has to hone his skills. Number 19. Another superpower that has fascinated people for centuries is flying. Imagine this. You're filming a fun video of a historical monument when suddenly you see a real man soaring above you. Throughout history, people have made numerous attempts to achieve this feat, from Leonardo da Vinci's innovative designs to the successful flight of the Wright brothers in 1903. There have been many attempts and successes in human flight. One of the earliest attempts at human flight involved using wings made of bird feathers. In the 19th century, various inventors attempted to create machines that would enable humans to fly. Some of these early attempts included hot air balloons and gliders. In 1982, Swiss artist Yves Rossi created a jetpack with four engines for powered flight. Since then, Yves has flown with his jetpack across several major rivers and over the Grand Canyon. But if you've ever wondered what flying humans would look like, would they resemble the man in this video? Number 18. Also known as the Chinese Eye Socket Man, has gained international attention for his incredible feats. He hails from Shandong province of China and possesses a unique talent. One of his most astonishing abilities is his power to pull heavy objects, including a car, using his eyelids. But I can already hear you thinking, how is it possible to lift so much with your eyelids? To put this into perspective, Yang can lift 32,000 times more than an average person. Despite the physical discomfort and pain associated with his performance, Young has become accustomed to the sensations over time. He has shared with the media that while his feats were initially painful, he has learned to adapt and persevere. However, his dedication to pushing the limits of the human body goes even further. He can do other astounding things, including standing barefoot on sharpened knives. His stunts, though, come with significant risks and should not be attempted by others. They require years of practice and exceptional physical conditioning. Number 17. The story of a true Kung Fu martial arts master named Masuyama. This man is considered the founder of Kyokushin Karate, and his accomplishments were deemed impossible by many. His legendary career in martial arts has earned him recognition as a true martial arts master. Masuyama was born in Korea in 1923 and began training in martial arts at a young age. He quickly moved to Japan where he honed his skills by practicing traditional karate. He became known for breaking the horns of bulls with his bare hands and reportedly fighting against a hundred men in a single day. Masuyama was a true warrior who believed that the path to martial arts mastery lay in challenging oneself to the utmost limits. In 1953, he secluded himself in the mountains of Chiba, Japan, to live in nature, train his body, and master the art of karate. And he succeeded, emerging from the mountains as a true karate master. He went on to establish his own system, which was honed with the traditional Japanese name Kyokushin, meaning the ultimate truth. Number 16. The next viral video of a man lifting a truck with his hands has left many astonished. Trucks can weigh up to 88,000 pounds or up to 40,000 kilograms, depending on their size and capacity. Even lifting the smallest truck requires an incredible amount of strength. 
So how is it that this man in the video was able to lift a truck so effortlessly? Unfortunately, it still remains a great mystery. However, the Guinness World Record states that the record for lifting or moving a truck is held by Hafthor Bjornsson. You may also know him as the character The Mountain from Game of Thrones. But the first recorded instances of strong men lifting or moving trucks date back to the early 20th century when circus performers demonstrated such feats of strength. The fact that the man in the video lifts trucks so easily, though, remains puzzling. One thing we know for sure is that the person in the video is definitely someone with superpowers. Would you like to be able to do the same? Let me know in the comments. Number 15. The goddesses of rescuers in China are a group of female lifeguards who must learn combat kung fu before they can be recruited. These women are trained in martial arts by monks from the famous Shaolin Temple, and their rigorous training regimen allows them to develop a unique set of skills. The training for the goddesses of rescuers is intensive and requires a lot of focus and discipline. The women spend several years training in various styles of martial arts, including the five animals of Shaolin Kung Fu based on the movements of the tiger, crane, leopard, snake and dragon. To succeed, they must be physically fit and mentally strong, endure long periods of training and maintain their focus and concentration. The connection between monks and martial arts in China is a long tradition. Monks from the Shaolin Temple are renowned for their mastery of Kung Fu, and their knowledge and techniques have been passed down through generations. The goddesses of rescuers learn from these monks, adopting their wisdom and techniques to develop their own unique set of skills and combat Kung Fu, using their abilities to save lives on the beaches and in the waters of China. Number 14. As everyone knows, the human body needs sleep to function properly. It's a natural and necessary process that is essential for rest and rejuvenation. However, this one Vietnamese man claims that he has not slept a single night in over six decades. His name is Dinico, and his story has left people from all over the world astonished. According to various news reports, he claims that he hasn't closed his eyes since 1962. In fact, he says that he first had difficulty sleeping after getting a fever in 1973. This fever lasted for several days and disrupted his sleep pattern. He then claims he simply never slept again. Despite his lack of sleep, he is said to be in good health and continues to work daily on the farm. Experts, however, are puzzled by the man's condition. To this day, the world record for sleep deprivation stands at 11 days and 25 minutes, achieved by Randy Gardner in 1964. But many find it hard to believe that Dinoco's story has far surpassed that record. Allegedly, the man drinks large amounts of coffee and tea to keep himself awake. Do you believe this story? Number 13. Dave Mullins is a filmmaker, free diver, and a name you definitely should know. He is globally recognized as one of the top free divers with multiple world records to his name. Additionally, he has garnered numerous accolades throughout his career. Dave began his journey to become a professional free diver at the age of 18 when he first started diving with scuba gear. In his early career, Dave worked as a commercial diver, performing underwater repair and maintenance tasks. After a few years, he discovered his passion for free diving. He honed his skills, competed in contests worldwide, and ultimately focused on breaking world records. For example, Dave holds the world record for breath holding underwater for 8 minutes and 31 seconds. Another notable achievement was a world record dive to 423 feet or 129 meters, making him the first person to break the 328 feet or 100 meter barrier. In addition to his incredible feats in free diving, he is also an experienced surfer and mountaineer. Number 12. The concept of flying carpets has existed for thousands of years and is a commonly seen motif in Middle Eastern folklore, including the story of Aladdin and his magic carpet. But apparently, the idea of flying on a magic carpet is not limited to movies. 
In this video, you can see a man in an empty street preparing to fly on his magic carpet. Could this man be a real-life Aladdin? As if pushed by an invisible force, the carpet lifts off, even if only for a few seconds. Watching the video clip immediately raises the question, what power and energy would be required for something like this to actually happen? Is the invisible force actually wind, or is the man manipulating it to begin with? For people sitting on a flying carpet, you would need a force that can lift not only the person's weight, but also the weight of the carpet itself. And what about gravity? According to physics, the force required to lift an object is proportional to its mass. Likely, this is a trick rather than a superpower. Number 11. Louis Cyr was not just an ordinary strongman. He may have been the world's strongest man of all time. Standing at approximately 6 feet or 1.82 meters tall and weighing almost 400 pounds or 180 kilograms, he was a force to be reckoned with. His incredible feats included lifting weights that no one else could lift and setting world records in back and shoulder lifting. His world record for lifting a platform with eight men on it stood for over a century. He is still regarded as a cultural icon in Quebec and recognized as one of the strongest men in history. Sears' legacy goes beyond his physical abilities. He was also a successful businessman with diverse interests and he used his wealth to support charitable organizations. Despite his massive size and strength, those who knew him described him as a gentle giant with a kind heart. Number 10. Scott Flansburg is a 57-year-old man from New York who has a cool superpower, and when you have to take a math exam, it comes in handy too. After all, Scott is known as the human calculator. In the year 2001, he was declared the fastest human calculator by the Guinness Book of World Records. Scott is eager to teach his specialty to other people. He travels around the world offering all kinds of courses. Even Stan Lee commented on his talent and was impressed that he was faster than a calculator. Yes, you heard that right. Scott actually proved that he can do math faster than a calculator. How cool is that? In real life, Scott is a math teacher and nowadays he even has his own TV show about math. Would you like to be able to do math as fast as he can? Let me know in those comments. Number 9. At the age of 17, a Russian fighter, Ashab Tamaev from Grozny, Chechnya, fought for the first time, and he managed to win this match, giving him the nickname Hulk. Since then, he's been called the Russian Hulk, and over the years, he's become an expert in various martial arts. In addition to his incredible body mass, he also has one of the thickest necks in the world. His neck has a circumference of 25 inches or 54 centimeters, and his head is so strong that he can even pull a car with it. It looks like you definitely don't want to have any problems with this guy. According to himself, he is said to have gotten his neck and his physique from doing a lot of bench pressing and squat exercises with farming machinery. Number 8. Budimir Sobot also known as Buddha, is a 56-year-old diver, and he managed to break a world record for the longest time he could hold his breath underwater. He managed to hold it 22 seconds longer than the previous record holder. Budimir managed to set this record in his hometown, Cheskak, in Croatia, on March 27, 2021, in front of numerous journalists and doctors. That day, he held his breath for seemingly an impossible total of 24 minutes and 33 seconds. What's his secret? Some say it's a superpower. Budimir, however, says that the key to success is to focus on the heartbeat while keeping his eyes closed. This way, he can listen to his heart and become calm. Another strategy he uses is counting muscle contractions in order to stay conscious. Number 7. Zhang Jizu is a Chinese man who has supernaturally strong powers. Check out this video footage where he manages to bend a metal pipe by kicking it. But he does other impressive feats, including breaking cable ties. Or how about breaking red bricks with his bare hands like it's nothing? It's unclear how he became so powerful, but I think we can definitely call this a superpower. What I find most incredible is how he even manages to break pebbles with his bare hands. How do you think he got these superpowers? Number 6. 
Being struck by lightning is undoubtedly one of the strangest things you can experience. But a man named Tony Sicoria says he even got superpowers from it. Before the lightning strike gave him his power, he was an ordinary doctor. He was 42 years old, walking the streets of Albany, New York, and decided to make a call on a public phone. After hanging up the phone and taking a few steps, a bolt of lightning struck him. According to the man, he saw himself lying on the ground with a blue and white light around him. When he finally woke up in the hospital, he thought he had a really cool story to tell. But two weeks later, he got the strange urge to play piano music. Before the incident, he was never interested in music, but in no time, he even managed to create beautiful piano compositions. Number 5. Remember Superman's ability to see through objects with X-ray vision? Apparently, this is not as fictional as we thought. If we are to believe Natasha Demkina, born in 1987, this girl claims to have special vision that she can turn on and off, allowing her to see inside human bodies. The gift allows her to see organs and human tissues, and it also allows her to provide medical diagnosis. Since then, she's done countless lectures all over the world. Discovery Channel even invited her and decided to investigate her superpower. She told them that when she was 10 years old, she started manifesting her powers. She says she can switch to what she calls her medical vision in a split second and then analyze and see people's organs. Do you believe this superpower really exists? Let me know in those comments. Number 4. How many people in the world can say they pump up tires with their nose? Meet a man named Ni Youngbing, who apparently has a powerful nose. In the following video footage in Chengdu, China, he uses his strange skills to inflate car tires. The man holds a rubber hose to his nostrils and blows as hard as he can. He even does this while several people are standing on the car tire. But he didn't have this skill all his life. A few years ago, he told a doctor that when he blows up balloons with his nose, it would benefit his health. These days, he hopes to travel the world with his act to compete in various talent shows to showcase his unique skill. Number 3. Norman Gray is a world-renowned expert in all things related to honeybees. He's a professor, scientist and author. And while he may not have any real superpowers, it's pretty impressive to have multiple bees on your body while playing a musical instrument. But not to worry, he's been specialising in handling trained bees for about seven decades. Norman even once managed to train bees that collected nectar from a sponge in his mouth. How bizarre is that? In addition, he also holds the record for the most bees in his mouth at 109. Another of Norman's accomplishments was officially attended by the Guinness World Records, where he wore a bee suit with about 88 pounds or 40 kilos of bees on his body. I don't think many people would dare imitate his feet. I personally go crazy when I hear one buzzing sound. Number 2. Daniel Keish is a 55-year-old man who was born blind. He initially thought that because of this, he would never be able to go anywhere. But he didn't leave it at that and managed to develop his own method of moving through life without help from others through echolocation. Echolocation is normally a method used by whales and dolphins to navigate, but Daniel found out that he could make a clicking sound with his tongue, which gave him echoes back from objects in his environment. This allows Daniel to move freely wherever he wanted and still travel the world. Today, he's also the president of a non-profit organization called World Access for the Blind, in which he and a team of people managed to teach more than 500 blind children how to use this echolocation method. Number 1. How many things can you remember from the past? More than 50% of you have probably already forgotten. But this is not true for a woman named Rebecca Sharrick. She has HSAM. Only a few people in the world have this, and it means you can remember every detail from your life. So, this superpower or gift prevents you from forgetting anything. Rebecca can, for example, recount the entire series of Harry Potter books, as well as all the memories from when she was a toddler. In her book, she describes her unforgettable experiences in detail. Her first memory when she was 12 days old is that her parents carried her to the driver's seat of the car and put her there for a photo. 
she also remembers in exact detail what happened on all her birthdays. What kind of superpower would you like to have? Let us know in the comments. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos we've made, click on the screen or take a look at the channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.